Hey there, builders and makers. Welcome to another fascinating journey through the world of metalworking. Today we're diving deep into the ancient and mesmerizing art of silverworking, a craft that has captivated human imagination for thousands of years. For millennia, humans have been drawn to silver's shimmering beauty, meticulously crafting it into exquisite jewelry, valuable coins and timeless artifacts that tell stories of our past. From the majestic Egyptians who adorned their pharaohs with silver, to the industrious Romans who minted coins that fueled their empire, silver has held a special and enduring place in our history. It's truly amazing to think that the intricate techniques we use today have roots that stretch back centuries, passed down through generations of skilled artisans. Imagine a dedicated silversmith in ancient Rome, patiently heating and hammering silver into intricate shapes, each piece a testament to their skill and dedication. Today we have advanced tools and technology to assist us, but the fundamental principles of silverworking remain unchanged, a beautiful blend of tradition and innovation. Before we get started, let's gather our tools. This is the first step in any successful metalworking project. Don't worry, we're not talking about medieval alchemy here. Instead, we're diving into the fascinating world of modern metalworking. We're going to need a few key things, a crucible for melting the silver. This is where the magic begins, as the solid metal transforms into a liquid state. A furnace or torch to provide the heat is essential. The right temperature is crucial for melting the silver efficiently and safely. Safety gear like gloves and goggles is a must. Protecting yourself from the intense heat and potential splashes of molten metal is paramount. And molds for shaping the molten silver. These molds will determine the final shape and design of your metal creation. And of course, you'll need the star of the show, silver. This precious metal is the foundation of our project. You can use scrap silver, silver grain, or even old silver coins. Each type of silver has its own unique properties and history. Old silver coins can add a touch of history and uniqueness to your final product. Imagine the stories these coins could tell. The type of silver you use will affect the final product, so choose wisely. Different types of silver can result in varying textures, colors, and qualities in your finished piece. Listen up, folks. Working with molten metal is serious business. Always wear your safety gear, heat-resistant gloves, a face shield, and a leather apron. Molten silver gets incredibly hot, so you need to protect yourself from burns. Make sure your work area is well ventilated, too. Melting silver releases fumes that you don't want to breathe in. A fan or open window can make a big difference. Section 4 from solid to liquid melting silver. Now for the exciting part, melting the silver. Place your silver in the crucible and put it in the furnace. Slowly increase the heat until the silver melts completely. It takes a lot of heat to melt silver, so be patient. Once the silver is molten, it will look like a pool of liquid mercury. Skim off any impurities that rise to the surface using a graphite rod. Section 5. Shaping the molten metal. With the silver molten and clean, it's time to pour it into the mold. Use a pair of tongs to carefully lift the crucible out of the furnace. Slowly and steadily pour the molten silver into the mold, being careful not to splash. Let the silver cool completely in the mold before handling. This might take a while, depending on the size of your piece. Rushing this step can lead to imperfections. Section 6. Polishing your treasure. This is where the magic truly happens. Turning a raw piece of silver into a gleaming masterpiece. Once the silver has cooled, carefully remove it from the mold. This step requires patience and precision to avoid any damage. You'll likely have some rough edges, so it's time to break out the sandpaper and polishing cloth. These tools are essential for refining the surface. Start with a coarse grit and gradually work your way up to a fine grit for a smooth finish. This gradual progression ensures that every imperfection is smoothed out, and there you have it. A shiny, polished piece of silver that reflects your hard work and dedication. You've taken raw silver and transformed it into a beautiful ingot or coin. The transformation is truly remarkable, showcasing the beauty hidden within the raw material. It's a process that connects us to generations of silversmiths who came before us. Each step in the process is a nod to the craftsmanship of our ancestors. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep experimenting, keep learning and keep the ancient art of silver working alive. 
Every piece you create is a testament to your skill and dedication to this timeless craft. Embrace the journey and enjoy the process of creating something truly unique.